Today we're going to talk about things we don't say anymore, mainly because of technology. What's happening? NJRoute22.com here. We're going to rattle off some things we don't say anymore, and we feel it's because of the technological advancements of humanity. Let's get started. First, it's the phone. You know, the smartphone has changed everything. And, um, well, the phone changed everything back in the, whatever, 1800s when it uh, first came out. But let's go off some things that we used to say that we don't say anymore. Such as, I'm waiting for a call. Get off the phone. Back in the day, the family might have had one phone and the, the special little princesses got their own little princess line. They even had a phone called the princess phone. And um, that, was, that was it. Now, everybody has a phone, including kids under 10 years old. And they're all in their rooms. And since it's not just the phone and you're talking to another human being, you're doing things and playing games and shooting people and texting and doing all sorts of other nonsense. And here's another one that you don't hear anymore. Uh, excuse me, can I use your phone? It's a local call. <laughs> Back in the day, you had to worry about uh, long distance charges and, oh, I don't want them calling California. It's like $3 a minute. Now you get an unlimited, uh, unlimited account. Uh, you can call anywhere for the same fixed amount. But they're like two or $300 phone bills now as well. So they probably made up for the fact that there's no $3 a minute calls by having these higher priced uh, phone plans. And here's another one. I'm going to call your manager. That usually what is what happened when someone had a bad experience at a store or supermarket or what have you. Now, people have a bad experience at the, at the supermarket or a store or whatever it is, and they just go home and write a bad review. A lot of times it's anonymous because they don't want the confrontation with the manager anymore. Older people still will talk face-to-face -face with someone when they have a problem. They try and resolve it. That's a good way to do it. Now, someone just bashes you and hopes you uh, lose business because of their stupid mistake or whatever it was that happened. Oh, and here's a classic. Operators are standing by. Call now to order. And back in the day, these late night infomercials or whatever it was, you actually had to, if you wanted that thing and you were drunk and you wanted some stupid uh, Bowflex machine, you'd have to dial the number, talk to an operator, give them your address, read your credit card number. It actually took a little effort to buy something back in the day over the phone. Now you can be drunk and half asleep and just open up your app, find the item, hit one single button and it'll be at your house in a day or two. It's amazing. And here's a real good one. Oh, I have to get home and check my messages. Uh, Susie might have called me, uh, whatever it was. That was an interesting aspect. The answering machine alone was a, a big advancement, but uh, before they had remote access and uh, voicemail, you had to get home and you would have to rewind the tape and and actually anticipate. There was anticipation to hope that someone left you a message. You can hear the message over and over. It was a lot of fun. Nowadays, with everybody with their phone in their pocket, they can screen their calls wherever they are, hiking for that matter, and uh, block calls and, and listen to messages. It's, there's no anticipation left anymore. It's gone. The character building is gone. And the next group of things we don't say anymore belongs in the on-demand category. Today, everything is instant. You can get what you want practically when you want it. But back in the day, it wasn't like that. Here's one good example. Hey, I'll ask Bob the next time I see him. It could be like some guy you know on the street or some guy at the shop. You didn't really call people. You just ran into people and you had these like week-long conversations where you, I'll give you an example, like you had a problem with your car and you, I asked the, the mechanic, uh, there was something wrong with the spark plug and I went home and checked it out and it wasn't that, but I saw something else. So the next time you see the guy, you'll say, hey Bob, I tried the spark plug thing, that wasn't the problem, but I noticed this other lever or valve was off and then he'll go, oh yeah, you try this thing and then you'd go back and try it. It would be like weeks long where you, you would have these conversations. Today, everybody's a text message away and so on. And the text message thing also throws things off a little bit because some people now, if you text somebody, they demand like an instant 30 second or less response. And if it goes five or 10 minutes, they start getting impatient and frustrated. Oh my God, where were you? What were you doing? I hate that whole aspect of instant communication. And this is a classic. Hey mom, hurry home, we're gonna miss our show. You remember you had to get home to watch Seinfeld at nine o'clock on Friday or whatever, Thursday, whatever it was. 
the TVs were on and like some people had VCRs and you had to you tape it. You had, I'm taping the show. I'm going to go to see a play today and I can watch my show or whatever my game later. Now everything is on demand streaming or, or just the whole they release the whole season all at once. You stay home for a whole entire week and you get like cold sore or butt sores just not moving and binge watching. It's a it's an awful thing. And another real good thing is directions. You used to be like if you lost, you like you'd pull over somewhere and ask somebody or gas station was always a good place. Uh, excuse me, can you tell me where this place is? And they'll they'll give you verbal directions. Oh yeah, you go uh, two miles down the road, make a right at the church, and then you go up the hill and then right at the top of the hill you make a left and there it is. And you'd have to remember uh, what they said and how long and, and some people would give you know inaccurate directions a quarter mile half mile one mile today everybody relies on their gps and if the gps breaks or there's no cell service or something goes wrong they're lost most people don't know even have a sense of cardinal direction of which is south north east and west it's just changed everything and in the uncategorized section here we have some other things that you don't say anymore such as unleaded or leaded. Remember, I remember back in the day, they, the gas station attendant would ask you what kind of gas you wanted. That was uh, tw almost 30 years ago that they banned uh, that, 25 years ago, that there's no more leaded gas. And another thing we don't say anymore because of technology is, hey, let's go to the video store. Uh, we, I'm sure you've heard that a million times, but you'd go to the video store, pick out your movies and, and all that stuff. Today, it's uh, all streaming, or if you don't have a good internet connection, uh, there's Redbox, which is open 24 hours. You just sit there, don't talk to anybody, just press some buttons and get your stupid movie. And one of my favorites, hey, I got a whole bunch of extra quarters. Let's go to the video arcade. Arcades were great. You cannot replace that experience anymore, even with a retro arcade that they have you know, here and there. The arcade, when you were a kid, you'd go there, it was filled with smoke. There'd be cigarette burns on the pinball machines and the asteroids machines. That experience was like you were in another world when you went and played video games in an arcade. Staying home playing video games is, is not the same. Games are completely different, of course. It's just not the same. Oh, and this is a classic. Hey, excuse me, do you know where the nearest payphone is? <laughs> nobody, uh, and the, the people would use the payphone. It'd be filthy as crap, and nobody cared. Imagine t trying to use a payphone today with this stupid crisis that we're in. You'd have to have hand sanitizer and masks and, oh my God, pe people, they would be frightened. I, I should dress up as a payphone for Halloween this year. I could scare everybody. they think there's germs all over it. Another classic is, hey, pick up a six and come on over. Like a six pack would be enough for two buddies to share while watching a baseball game or something. Now, everybody binge drinks. You need cases of beer and they, people top it off with vodka and whiskey as well. So people get smashed now compared to back in the day. And it has nothing to do with technology. That's just people getting more drunk. And lastly, something that I recall uh, greatly is, oh man, there was a five mile backup. Uh, we got stuck at the tolls. Back before they had easy pass, you had to pay tolls in cash and there were massive lines because obviously it was like checking out. Today, you have Easy Pass, High Speed Easy Pass, and they even pickpocket you at like 60 miles an hour. But the one thing is, there are still traffic jams, and they're usually caused by people driving with their stupid phones. Isn't that funny? So that's it. Those are things we don't say anymore, and I'll see you next time.